That had an Osted roach again, the small one. Only a jack, but that's number two. <laughs> and we're off and running in darkness. Number two for the session. Let's get the little devil back. morning troops <laughs> yeah it's about seven o'clock in the morning recast the rods about six it's still dark heron just going over and we had a we really had a little knock and what i've noticed well on this lock anyway all day yesterday in the first run this morning is that they really attack the bait really fast bang and then drop it and what I've been doing is thinking oh, I've missed a run and I've been winding in but they come back that's why I made the mistake this morning it hit it really violently I got to the rod I could see the float moving away I wound down pulled it back a bit but obviously the hook wasn't in the mouth so just the bait but let's say it's off to a good start and say so I cast out first thing this morning when it was still pretty dark so I'm going to bring each rod in now have a look at the baits see if they need freshening up a bit and changing or whether they're okay because they, you know, they've been out all night I mean the water temperature is cold enough to preserve them but you know, if they look washed out and everything I might uh, have a change up but at the moment it's like, a, it's like a sheet of glass two herons and it's you know it's lovely so I'm gonna I whiz the camera around <laughs> you can see me recasting and everything and maybe we'll see a bit of wildlife while we're at it because it is it's a lovely little spot I'll say I've Yesterday I saw a bird of prey, but the sun was in my eyes and I was casting and I couldn't tell what it was. I've seen a couple of herons this morning. There was an owl hooting away last night, so you know, it's, it's good stuff. But you think it was sod the, sod the wildlife, man. <laughs> it's never Scottish 20. Well, well, you know, it's a beautiful day, it's only about four or five degrees. It's really felt mild up you know it's i mean it's really quite pleasant no heavy dew it's overcast apparently we're going to get a bit of wind from the east southeast hopefully we'll set fair for a productive day
Well, the initial morning <laughs> excitement has uh, died down. No instant hits. It's a glorious day, as you can see behind me. It's fantastic. So, what I'm going to do now, I've freshened all the baits up. They've all got fresh baits on the what the left hand rod didn't need any freshening up. I've pumped that with some oil and there hasn't been no instant hit early morning run apart from, apart from that one knock I had in the right hand rod. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have a nice cup of coffee now and then I'm gonna uh, wind in all three rods and I'm gonna take one rod and my net just over to me right. It's too far to fish leaving other rods out but it's not far enough that if I catch anything I can't bring it to me on the station it's just on the point just to my right I'll show you it, it, it looks fishy so I'm going to give that a little whirl well, here's this little bay I've been raving about you've got snags to the right snags to the left reed bay opposite reed bay to the right there's definitely a one rod swim See if we can winkle out a fish. As you can see, it's a, <laughs> it's a glorious day. It's about, it says it's about 10 degrees, feels warmer in the sunshine. Got a southeasterly wind blowing through. Now, obviously, when you're tackling any new water, everything's a learning curve for you. Now, I don't even know if it fishes well in bright conditions, you know, it's clear water. Uh, I've had two abortive runs today, both on the uh, Paternoster small roach. So what I've done is, my left hand rod I've, I've broke down completely, put a brand new Paternoster rig on there with a smaller hook for smaller baits, just like the one on the right hand side. So I've gone with two small roach on either left and right, and in the middle rod I've brought in broke all that down as well that's no, I ain't got no static dead on a float rig anymore that's a, a leisured rig once again though I, I'm not changing they're all you know I mean, even my leisured dead bait is with a single circle hook and that's a whole roach at the moment about that big but I'm going to be changing that soon I'm going to put a sardine on there it's very clear water so I think before I put the sardine on, what I think I'm going to do is I've been boosting my baits with oils. And it's very, very clear water, as I said. So I'm going to bring in that middle rod that I'm leisuring with, and I'm going to pump that with a load of Predator Plus to see if the red colour, as well as the attractant, draws any fish in. So that's my next gambit. So yeah, I've got two, two pattern osters, both small roach. One's about an inch long on the left hand rod. One on the right hand rod's about two to three inches long. A bit longer than I normally use, but as I say, grabbed it, dropped it, maybe. But maybe they're jacks, maybe they ain't, but I'd rather convert the runs that I'm getting. And who knows, if you get through all the jacks, then once you've got through them, the, the bigger girls are moving. So, they say it's a glorious day. It's all chopped and changed, learning as we go. And that's what you can do on a new venue, you know. I don't even know if I'm on the right bank. I don't even, you know, it's it's a whole new ball game for me up here on this lock. But 
had a little go in the bay earlier as you saw it's a lot shallower than it is the water I'm fishing so it's about three or four foot shallower Maybe, you know so but there was no instant hit in there that's all I was looking for an instant hit you know say it's a run one rod swim well if I'd had a hit I would have stayed in there and <laughs> carried on fishing but nothing at the moment so yeah I'm going to inject some predator plus into my ledger dead bait and we'll see how we get on there Well, what can I say? <laughs> the boost in the baits worked. The left hand rod, it's unbelievable. To, they attack the baits like bilio here. It's unbelievable. I was sitting there, as I said, boosted the baits, been about 20 minutes. And that's a float twitch. It's hard to tell, you know, the water's a bit choppy, but there's definite. You can tell when it's something other than the water can't you so there's a twitch i thought oh, well i'll get ready just about to get up out of the chair and the rod bent over one toner again got down to the rod it was still going wound down yeah you guessed it fresh air they just they're, i mean they're either really really small and they're not taking the baits or they or they're picking the baits up to take and rushing off to take them somewhere else to eat them, but uh, unbelievable! Just electric fast, wham! <laughs> Needless to say, I didn't. So yeah, I mean, I'm enjoying myself. Don't get me wrong, but you know it's like three or four hours between runs, which can happen anywhere. You know, and, uh, when you do get one, you you, you know you, you want to be converting them, don't you? So we've had we've had seven runs now and only two fish to show for it i say but they really are unbelievably fast the only two that weren't electric like that were the two i caught i guess i have to show you i suppose when they want to eat it they'll eat it when they don't they won't <laughs> you know unbelievable just whoosh no let up wham you just almost bent the rod in double you would have thought it had a whale on the end but fresh air so every run we've had really bar one so we've all been on pattern Osted, small roach that's half a sardine had a there's quite a lot of ferrets not ferrets so weasels around here just looking at one now behind me well behind the camera he's poking around he's, he's been having a look I don't know if it's the same one he's off yeah, little weasels. Uh, there, I've seen two now. It could be the same one, but yeah. So yeah, it's been a good trip. There's a steep learning curve for me this fishing Scottish lock. So I mean, I'm not used to it. Don't even know. You know, someone else has turned up about 100 metres down on the left from me. So. He came to this bank. I haven't had a chat with him. I don't. I don't like leaving. Well, I don't leave my gear unattended unless I really all in. Also, I haven't had many fish. So I don't really want to <laughs> have my baits out of the water longer than I have to. But it's about three o'clock in the afternoon now, so it's only a couple more hours of daylight, and then we're. You know what was a glory, as you can see, what was a glorious sunny day quickly turned into a very cloudy afternoon. So we persevere, we keep going, and hopefully we'll have a few pike to show you. Maybe now it's not so bright. Maybe now the sun's behind the clouds. Maybe the uh, pike could get their heads down and want to munch rather than out in the clear water. I don't know. Just I'm guessing. I mean, you know, I, I haven't fished here before. I'll have to, you know. Uh, any new venue for you know you have to put in the hours and the sessions you know week after week you know hour after hour you really got to put in some time and effort to get to know a venue and you can turn up at a venue like this 
200 acres. You, know, you don't know where to start. You don't know what digs. You don't know what baits are the going baits. Because some some pike in some venues they only eat certain baits, and then you don't even know what method, <laughs> what distance. Yeah, it's a whole variable, isn't it? But we've had runs, we've had pike, so we'll keep plugging on. Oh dear, oh dear. Looks like I may have done a boo-boo. <laughs> Just been talking to one of the regulars. Another jack. Apparently that's the problem because I've just been talking to one of the regulars and they reckon is devoid of big fish. Long since better days. Really struggled to get a double, let alone a 20 on here. And uh, well, just goes to show I've just had another electric run on a roach and once again the fish are too small to. Uh, take the bait hole or in one so I've got to wait around now and see if it uh, comes back there's three people fishing here one from the bank one from a boat and the boat said that it's just full of jacks nothing else so best laid plans and all that tried something new tried something different but at the moment it looks like I've uh, <laughs> picked the wrong one but still we had one that's eight pounds last night by sands that's probably about the biggest in here so the only thing I can hope for is 200 acres of water there's got to be fish in here there has to be big fish in here Yeah, it could be running alive with jacks and I could be wasting my time, but you don't know till you try. Um, we've had a we've had a something different, a few days on the bank, never any uh, hardship really. So just got to crack on and see if we can catch what's in it. Whatever's in here, you can only fish for what's in front of you. So that's what we're going to do. Just carry on and see what we can catch.
Well, another another jack. It looks like that's all that's in here, but gonna catch what's in front of you. Lovely dark colours, lovely conditioned fish. But <laughs> I'll catch them in the local drain, can't I? Not as nice coloured as this, there's beautiful colours on them. Look at the pattern of that tail. Lovely. Mug shop. And there it is. A little one. Let's get him back. Final morning. Is this really Jack City? Or are there some whoppers in here? I don't know. Every run I've had has been from a Jack. I know that from experience. Still, got to be in it to win it. Let's see if we can catch ourselves some pike before we go. Morning troops, here we are on final morning. A little bit of frost, a bit of ground frost, nothing major. Beautiful conditions. The fishing hasn't been what I'd hoped. You know, I sort of made up my own mind halfway through the second day that it was basically running alive with jacks and it, I would probably have to get through a few jacks before I found anything decent talked to a, two regularly yesterday and they were full of woe on the pike in front reckon you could fish here all your life and never catch a double <laughs> they're full of jacks no big fish been seen for a long time now you can take comments like that with a pinch of salt or you can take it as red it's you know it's one of those things but I can't believe on a water this size that there's not some big fish in there but are there a large amount of big fish is it a venue we have to put in so much work to find and locate the big fish which is not just not possible for someone who lives in Lincolnshire <laughs> so did I did I do a wrong coming here? I don't think so. It's fishing. You don't know until you try. You don't gamble. You don't have a pop. You never will know, will you? So, it looked good on paper. Fishing wise, it's not very deep. It's very manageable. Fishing wise, you know, it's not too bad at all, really. Apart from the Apart from me leaking boots, otherwise I would have been, at, you know, I would have enjoyed myself a bit more. My feet, are, <laughs> I've got some dry socks and dry boots in the car, but I didn't want to put them on because it's quite shallow at the front, at the water's edge. So you've still got to walk out a little bit to land a fish safely and return it safely. So there's no point having two sets of wet socks and two sets of wet boots. <laughs> so I've suffered with wet, wet feet the whole time I've been here. But that hasn't even put a damper on things. It's, you know. It's a fantastic morning. We've had a few fish out. I've already had a little bit of interest on the left hand rod and the right hand rod. But not, they wouldn't take them. And they are jacks. It's, you know, it's, there's no two ways about it. It's, all that's out there at the moment is jacks. Whether that's the case for the whole fishery, I don't know. I don't want to malign a fishery on one visit. So, you know, but. As far as I'm aware, this trip, all it's produced for me is jacks. Now, if I find, now you can fine tune your rigs and your baits and your setups to fish for jacks, 
you probably fill your boots you know so <laughs> at the moment I've got two small baits on and one large bait on and the small baits are the ones getting the interest you know, throughout the whole trip the large baits have not been touched at all it's only the small baits and they, I mean they're lightning fast as well when them jacks hit you know it's one toners and some of them are probably not big enough to take the bait because you know they're coming back with teeth marks in them but you know the roach is that small and the sprats being that small and the waters are fish even a jack will go from down so I don't know why they're not but yeah, it's the way it is we're gonna fish for a few hours hopefully get, it's gonna be a lot you can see behind me there's not a cloud in the sky it's gonna be a very bright day but I've got a long drive home so I'm gonna fish for a couple of hours hopefully nab a few before I go let's see if we can catch ourselves some pike I'm not gonna uh, go on about how bad or good poor it is it's it is what it is you fish for what's in front of you wherever you are what part of the country whatever venue whatever type of water you can only catch what's in there so I'm going to enjoy myself catch a few pike this morning and then head off home Well troops, thanks for watching this little Scottish adventure with me. Sadly no monsters, it's uh, I'm not going to write a fishery off just from, from one visit, that, that would be naive. Or tales of woe from a couple of regulars that are saying bailiffs are removing fish and stuff like that. You've got to you can only judge the water over time, you, obviously first impressions dictate whether you think it's worth persevering with and me personally no it's beautiful water it's not a deep it's not a deep lock so the water temperature is not too bad you know, the pike should be lively it's just a proliferation of is that the right word i even pronounce it wrong i don't know there's so many jacks in here i've had two aborted runs and they just strike the bait and then they don't come back half the time and it's no, I'm, I'm used to fishing with ropes that small now and they're, they're just snapping them in half. <laughs> Almost. Yeah, I mean, they're still on the hook and they're all shredded to bits. But we've had none this morning. So we've had two abortive runs. I've packed all my, uh, all my gear away. It's just my fishing gear I've got to pack away now. I'm going to have a slow pack up. It's, you know, it's a four and a half hour drive home down that dreaded A1M. And, uh, it's uh, going to be a sunglasses type of drive, you know, it, it's just a shame, you know, it's a beautiful, beautiful setting, I really did enjoy being sat here and fishing here, I mean, I'm not going to crucify the place, but is it worth a four hour, <laughs> 500 mile round trip? Not really, not if I'm not going to catch anything over £10, you know, it's... I can do that at home so you know there's plenty of drains that have been hammered by the illegals and whatnot and it's you know you can still catch plenty of jacks in there I just don't fish them because I'm not really interested in catching four or five pound pike but you can only fish what's I keep saying it but you can only fish for what's in front of you so that's all you've got in your local water I'm not slagging you off or having them knock far from it you know it's you fish for what's available but four hours out of your way is stretching in <laughs> so back to the drawing board I have to do some research on this place to see if it's just a one off or if it's um, as bad as it appears and then maybe playing another one in September somewhere else and I, I know a few places that do hold big pike but they're a lot further drive than here they're in the highlands so but it may be a case of having maybe having to so 
the borders <laughs> wasn't a great success but there are a few other I know, I know I know a few other locks around here that produce doubles and 20 so yeah mate all right I'm in an hour in but I'm gonna have a slow pack up thanks for watching this little Scottish trip with me I really do appreciate it and uh, I'll see you on the bank real soon